Okay, so we've done all the topic, we've done the logos, we've depatched the girl, we've put this text in, we've made three columns based on when we did our initial document. Okay, so we had this one. So when we did our very initial document, we had columns here at three columns and five mil. So that's what I'm talking about here. So if I cancel that, that just gives you the columns on the background board of the page. And then I've pasted a text document in using the text tool. And once I've done that one, then I've gone into these guys and with this one, Okay, I keep going, okay. Um, three columns, you can see there, four columns, five, six, da, 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 da. So that runs like that. So we've got three columns in our box, and we've got this gap here, which is five millimeters. So that lines up with the grid underneath. You can have no grid underneath and use your columns, and it would still do the same thing. We've pasted the text in, running across three columns. We've used function and enter to run stuff from there across to the next thing and now it's just a matter of formatting it. Normally you would be designing the job and formatting it exactly how you want it but in this case you've got to format it how I want it. A bit bossy I know. But this one I've got the size on the PDF so keep working with your PDF here. So these ones we're down to these guys now and this is Helvetica New 11 on 11 Helvetica Black this one or Condensed Black and then this stuff. Okay so all the information's here. There's 9 on 10 and a half hanging indent we're going to do that as well is by using command backslash so with this first one back to InDesign so pretty much so this one we, we know it's already can new it's condensed black okay it's capitals you can see here the little all caps thing here it saves you going through there's a few ways to do that if you right click on that you can say change case uppercase lowercase title case we can do it that way right click does everything there's a lot of things that right click does but we can change case there but what we want to do an easier way so select all the line we can hit this one here and that will just do straight capitals so I'm just going to guess that that's what it is so it's 11 on 11 okay so we're going to come into here pull our box down just to get that to line up okay so and this is red we've made a red you made a red before so what you want to do is go back into your cutters swatches window color swatches here they are here and see Gav's red swatch it's the same red so I'm just going to click on that because that's the red that we made before and just to double check you can see it's CMYK over here and if I hold my mouse over it it gives you the color breakdown of what it is okay double click on it you can edit it you can change it all right that's what it is all good so literally go through we know what this is this one it's just an indent on here so that was the trick that I was going to show you from before so all it is there's all different ways bullets but what you can do is if you put your cursor in here you can see it's flashing in here go command on your machine and backslash the one above return that will give you this small little cross this weird little symbol here and it's quite clever this so what it does is it will it'll indent everything to that line so if I turn the bottom layer off it'll indent everything to that line until it goes to the return here and then it will go back to the beginning so if for example I was to put one after the C and the H here command backslash it will line everything to there and then until it comes back okay so I'm going to put my cursor here command backslash it's a really good way to do an indent command backslash and that's good and one trick to this if you want to just for example you wanted the word as to run down if I hit return it'll go back to the beginning because that's what I've asked it to do via this indent so if you do want one word to come down do a shift return or a soft return and that will give you this little sort of weird return it'll give you the new line but not the information that's assigned to it also we've asked this one with the paragraph space up here to do two millimeters space after so when you get to this paragraph we've said hey give it two millimeters space so if I was to do a return there to run down as it would weird out it would give you this big space in here and it will go back to the beginning so in this case shift return would do that okay another thing you want to do with text turn select all your text command a go up to hyphenation and turn it off it's just a good get used to not having hyphenated text because it's annoying right so thumb down I'm going to turn my bottom layer back on and I want to do this stuff now so I know that these stores one back to text up here Helvetica I know it's condensed black I'm just gonna guess it and just say it's capitals okay and it's that much okay so that's you do it, it's nine so this 502 same again so literally go through what we're going to do is use space after here so on this line here it's all to do with this return here it's this you'll get used to using space after so as long as your cursor is in here under paragraph related this one here and you can see here space after so come down and just move it down and you can see stores running down to be that 
this one. I'm going to cheat a bit, use my eyedropper and click on that stores to carry the font across. Then just go through, I mean I've got what size it is but I'm just going to guess what size it is. So all I'm doing is moving the point size which is just freaking it out because it's using the leading from the base before. So if we make that the same, that leading will get you that. Okay, so my employees, I'm going to select that one. I'm going to use the eyedropper and click on stores just to give it this. So back in here, it's all about space after. And just wiggling those around or moving those, this one. Use the eyedropper, that one, and that will fix that. This one's red. We've got a red. All I'm doing is clicking three times to select all of that line. So we've got a red, so that's Gav's red. Okay, this one. Red. Oh, missed it. That one. Red, all good. Just about using space after and letting and things like that. Don't worry that it's not exactly the same as mine. As long as it has the same, it's pretty close, okay? Right, this is kind of the last thing we'll be doing now. You've got all that to make sense. This is a little bit smaller in point size. If you do want to get particular, I'm, I'm pretty sure what I said over there. Maybe it was 8.5. So 8.5, and that should run all that back up to where it is, okay? But it's just a bit of a... That's what it is there. All right, so that's fine for what we're doing. Okay, this next one, great place to shop. It's that type of heading. So I'm going to use my eyedropper, select that one. It's slightly different font. So we might just double check. We'll go back to this one. And we're going to go based on this one now. So if I just blow up that. Okay, based on this one here. Helvetica New Bold 9 on 10. Supplied is one Illustrator file with the icons. And we're going to do all of this stuff here, as you can see, in one box. We're going to do rule above rule below and we're going to embed an icon so that means as you add text to the document all this here will run up and down accordingly you don't have to draw it all separate rules so this is really good typesetting getting this stuff together you've got your icons your font is already a new bold 9 on 10 images are supplied off we go okay so back to InDesign and I'm just going to use this one for now what we do need we need a return above it so I'm just going to hit an enter there and these ones, we want these to be centered. We want them to be already can you whatever the font we ask for. So condensed bold. We're going to be capitals. I think it's a little bit bigger. Okay. I think mine's italic to be honest. So we're going to say bold italic. I just might not have mentioned that, but okay. Okay, so that's 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 our heading, All right? So from here. So we'll line that up. So what we want to do now, we're just working on this area in here. So this, you have to kind of watch for this bit. So this is us now. Right, I want to rule below. I want to rule below. A rule below, a rule above as you can see. And they work with literally rule above and rule below, right? So if you put your cursor in here, and over here, it's in a funny spot. You can see over here, okay? I go down to paragraph rules, all right? So just again, my cursor is this side of this return over here paragraph rules okay so you've got to hit preview so you can see what's going on so I want rule above I'm going to turn it on it would just automatically give you a rule whatever it is the text color so play around with this stuff we want the weight of this rule to be say 0 0.75 or even 0 0.5 okay we want the color of the rule to be Gav's red swatch you see all the an offset will move that up to where it's going to go so we're going to move it up to above it right and go okay I could I could say rule below and put a rule below but we're going to assign this next rule to the next paragraph so go okay put my cursor in there same one go up to this one paragraph rule this time we want rule below turn that on it just automatically gives you a rule offset that down a bit okay I'm just sort of guessing but it's a good guess so this one 0.5 and it's going to be red and go OK. Right, so this will be red. We've got this to be red here. It's all just a matter of going through. All right. L last thing, we want some space after this one. So our cursor's in here. Same again. It's all about space after. So this one, OK, space after. And you can see I'm moving this bit down to fit the right spot. Last thing we want to do is just put the icon in there. But I've got the icons. So if I go File, Place, I go and find the icons. And you see here, Icons 1. If I go open, if I just place that there, they they always paste in at under low resolution, but it's okay. If you right click on that one and say graphics, um, display performance, high quality, 
okay that's right clicking display performance high quality it'll sharpen them up and in this case we want the little shopping basket so I've just pasted them in in a if it was just a one-off job you could just do that you could put that shopping basket there and if I hide my guides that would look wonderful okay it would look fine but we don't want to do that we want to embed it into the job so it's as you move text around it will go with it so what I want to do I've pasted it in I've got it in the right box okay and if I cut that one if I say edit cut and I've cut that away from where it is I'm going to click in here like it's just text like I was going to type and go paste edit paste it'll paste it in to there where it goes okay so what that's done is that's just pasted that in I'm going to select this word and use um, this text tool so you've got this little guy here and I'm just going to move that down just to fit in there and that's wonderful all I've done there is just that one okay the baseline shift and I've just selected that and I've just used baseline shift to move that around a bit